didn't need to take that hit. Okay. Uh, a hit is currently not so bad compared to a shotgun bullet. Let's see if that changes. What's moving? My shadow? Is that just my shadow? No, something's moving. Is it the wires dangling? It is the wires dangling. Okay. Get the fuse in there. trying to do here 120 120 we want it to be 800 and 230 whoa Up here doesn't matter, no? No, okay. Eight hundred and two thirty. Uh, okay. Oh, is that a multiplier? Yeah, okay, I see. It's a little math game. Six, two, seven, three, eight, four. And then. Okay, let's see. Um, but when you turn on more than one, uh, so, is this going to, 240, 720, yeah, okay, it's, yeah, it's multiplicative. Not for here, though. So the rule here is blue subtracts by the number you see. 
black multiplies by the number you see, and white, or red circle, what does that do? Adds? Yeah, it simply adds to it. Okay. Okay, I get it. Multiply, multiplication, addition, subtraction. Alright. Uh, so, gotta get you to 800. You cap out at 99. Uh, so the first one brings us close. And then we want to add 80. Uh, and we want to... Uh, so we want to add 80. And then we want to add... 180. Let's see if we can make this up in a different way. Uh, this is going to subtract 10. It's going to end 100. We don't want to double subtract. Add 30, subtract 50. Not enough. Uh, not times 2. Times 4 would be 200. Times 8 would go up to 99. Yeah. Uh, no subtraction is going to be big enough for that. All right, so let's not go that road. All right. If we wanted to subtract 10 here, there is none. We can add 30. And then subtract 50. Uh, and now we want to subtract 40, but we don't have that ability either. Okay. Yeah, this might be a little easier with uh, to pull out a little calculator, but uh, let's see. Shouldn't be too bad. You just got to trial and error it a little bit. All right. 368.40. Let's see if we can use that as the basis. Because you want to start with the multiplier, I assume, and then start modifying it after the fact. So. Or how about this? Uh, 230. We go up one... You go down 190. Uh, so if we wanted to get just 190 to bring us to the right number then we'd want to uh, have 230 330, 430, 420 if we could get to 420 on the bottom then this will be correct and if we can get to 720 on top 720 on top 420 on the bottom okay Ooh, no, not that. Uh, not that either. We want a big subtraction. Uh, 720 on top, 420 on the bottom, unless it doesn't go that road at all. Okay, now if this were at 999, and we wanted to subtract it down to 800, we'd want to subtract at least 199, which none of those numbers are going to do properly, so we don't want to max out the top circuit. Uh, huh. Four thirty. Yeah. No, subtract, subtract. Oh, interestingly, this is not subtracting 10 
from 800. So the 999 is actually just in complete excess. Interesting. Okay, good to know. Okay. But you're still exceeding 999. Ah, okay, so this combination gets us 230. Multiply by 4. Subtract 250. But the multiply by 8 is just too high. And then these are all in addition as well. Yeah, that's no good. Okay. Two twenty zero. Nine forty one ten. No. Massive subtraction. Still ninety over. Uh, subtract ten. Take away plus 80. You're down to 800. You're down to 230. Let's fucking go. Godlike. And the elevator is now running. Good old survival horror puzzles. <laughs> uh, I've heard tales. I don't mind it. I honestly don't mind it. I, I kind of find that shit for, uh, to be good fun. Um, you know, as long as people don't mind watching it. Because that's the only thing I get in my head about how long it takes. But ignoring that, yeah, it's, that type of stuff is fun. I enjoy it. So we got a free spot. And hands empty. Doing good. Yeah, I think the the key rule is to don't rely on the player having external cultural knowledge about the thing that you're about the, the for the solutions, you know. Or if there's if or if you do want to go with cultural or historic knowledge as the solution for something, then have that be taught somewhere in the game, even if it's flavor text, because you never know who's playing it what background they're coming from and whether or not they have any idea what the fuck you're talking about. So. Okay. And I've heard examples over the years of, yeah, I've heard about how bad that can get. It's like, oh, you didn't know this thing about this historic... You never heard of Propagnosia? <laughs> You've never... You never played Sudoku? <laughs> Uh, what did you need again? Mailbox key? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if the whole point of the game is to be about, uh... That type of stuff, though, then fine, you design around it. I've never played a Layton game, but I would imagine those would be a combination of, uh, like, math puzzles or algebra puzzles and, and a little bit of history or something to that note. Um, let's see. Get towards the lift and see how we do.
Not that one. What did you need again? Oh, okay. Right, long way down to that. Stand and guard over those dead bodies. Nothing hidden in that darkness, eh? out. Paternoster, let's go. All right. Uh, nothing new from this. How about here? Opens from the other side. Absolutely. Shutter gate handle. Steel shutter doors. Way, way back when I first landed on... With that big shutter door? Huh. Is that the one? No, I fell in a hole. I don't know if I'm making it back up to that. Where the fuck was that? Uh, oh, man. B. Oh, boy. I do not remember where shutter doors were. Uh, hopefully they'll be red dotted. Wall safe. Never opened that. Mm hmm. Elevator control. Elevator control. Okay, nothing yet. Oh, there we go. Right, 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 right. The one in the piano hallway. Okay, there we go. And that definitely looks like a note. Looks like makeup, but it also kind of looks like battle damage. Also, just based on the darkness in this angle, I know that that's a cool Gantz chin strap thing, but <laughs> if you kind of if you kind of look at, look at it the wrong way, it could just be like a weird shaped old woman jowls, and like the bump is the bottom of the chin. And the two bumps to the side are just like her cheeks sagging. <laughs> yep. F K L R. Falk. Falcon. Uh, high tech bio resonance command unit, bio me mechanical shell. And bullet resistant armor plating. Protector unit. Uh, yes, the 
Führer Gung's commando commander, head of each Aeon facility's protector force, is a powerful prototype bioresonant Falk unit, an authority that may never be questioned. A Falk unit serves as not just a commander to the protectors, but nearly godlike being perception that is underlined by her tall build and her resemblance to our nation's leaders. Ah, great revolutionary and her daughter. Interesting. So the units are designed to resemble real people, which also falls into the replicant gestalt uh, dichotomy. It's also a aided by her powerful protege by a residence module, which not only allows her to bend the will of the weaker minds and fathom their intentions and emotions, but also grants her the ability to manipulate objects from a distance. Okay, Psycho Mantis, you seem like a pretty fucking problematic boss. Hello. What? Oh, getting out of the ground? Oh, reading was a bad idea, was it? I'm sorry for reading. Mina and Adler. Replica Known Issues, Part 3. Classified inf Information Commander's Eyes Only. Previous experience with these replica models has given us insight into irregularities in their behavior that stem from the original neural patterns used for these units. Due to the sensitive nature of this information, this document should be destroyed after reading. MNHR. The neural pattern is extremely stable. Little has to be done to keep Minas happy. They get along well with most of their models thanks to their sometimes submissive, sometimes motherly personality. Unlike other models, diary keeping is not mandatory for persona stabilization. Ah, interesting. Everyone's gotta keep a log. Small stuffed animals may be given as fetish objects, uh, though those resembling cats should be avoided as they might cause resurfacing gestalt memories. So they are implanted full on with people's personalities. Flaws and all. Yeah. That would explain that. And that's, uh. Yeah, okay, okay. So the, the, the Gestalts have rules that they have to follow and a series of, like, built in fail safes. And, uh, but it's all on the basis of a real personality. And then we just saw that example describing the leader and their daughter. So, okay. And then I guess they're just copying and cloning them across the units so that it's one person's personality repeated is, well, that's my assumption. There's nothing confirming that just yet. Adler. Adler units work best when left alone. They do not mix well with their own type. They'll usually become very emotionally dependent on their commander. Adlers are very susceptible to bioresonant suggestion, making them fairly easy to control. However, they become bored very easily and may need new fetish objects at regular intervals for stabilization. Mm hmm. There you go. Yes, and that's like fetish objects is in the, you know, the other usage of the word. Just trinkets resurfacing gestalt memories need to be suppressed is the other way to read this and you're gone Falk's diary. I don't know how much longer I can go on. I don't want to live anymore. That's what I've become. The red eye beyond the gate showed me. No. Touched me. Poisoned me. It feels like my mind has been contaminated, defiled by another person's memory. I'm no longer fully myself anymore. But I've become... But I'm not... But I've not fully become someone else either. I'm stuck here, between her and me, with half-formed dreams and recollections penetrating my brain, 
and tainting my every action. Who is she? Who is that white-haired girl? Why do I long to see her again? Why would she curse me like this? Okay. So these units are malfunctioning, and those malfunctions are causing the personalities that they're based on to resurface. Thus, we are having our own flashbacks to the body that we are based on as well. And uh, this entire system of re replicants and gestalts is a terrible one that was doomed to fail from the fucking ground up. Cool. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that makes that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Like, let's build the perfect people. Oh, hey, thank you, Susie. How's it going? This game is pretty cool. Appreciate that. Shout outs to the Sphere Hunter, everybody. Uh, I've seen uh, high praise for this game coming from Susie, the survival hunter expert. Therefore, uh, I'm going to take that and uh, say you should. You should. You, that's that's an opinion that matters heavily when it comes to these games. I'm struggling with this six slot thing. <laughs> it's it's. I haven't played RE one, so I'm learning the hard way how to survive in a world of six items. It's brutal, but. Uh, we are just learning right now and inferring that the flashbacks we're seeing are, ba are based on the fact that uh, these gestalts are having, yeah, latent memories pop back up. Terrible idea. Terrible idea for a design. You have a body, it'll do the job you need, and you have to put a flawed human personality inside, and then you're gonna copy it indefinitely, so that if something goes wrong with one type of unit, it goes wrong with the entire unit class because they all have the same flaws of the basis personality they're copied from. Again, a whole lot of inference here, but if that's what's going on, holy shit, this was a bad idea. Thank you. And is that your fetish object? A heavy box fashioned to look like an owl. There are small holes at the top looking like a speaker or a microphone. And this is where we'll get our owl key. Okay. Got it. All right, Falk, sit tight. No, these are just for the safes. I didn't... Did I get an owl frequency? Don't recall getting one. Okay. Uh, can I look at the computer? Don't mind if I do. Cheers. Alright, that's 3 and 10, plus a little bit extra, and the shutter gate. Maybe we have to get the shutter gate uh, going to get that info. Yeah. Is there a fail state if we play the wrong frequency? Okay, it doesn't respond. Okay. Yeah. Nothing clearly indicating. Uh, and the owl key was required for, uh, let's see, which room was it again?
not be two. Uh, I think it was that door. I want to say it was that door. All right, we'll be back. Let's open up that shutter. And fuck you guys. And you stay tight. Oh, there was a second one! You son of a bitch. Ah, I didn't notice you. Damn. Motherfuckers got that hide and go seek on lock. It's the I, sh I need to look at the glitches. I need to look at the glitching screen. That's that's your fucking indicator. Okay. Uh, the hunt for an owl frequency to get our owl key and uh, the shutter on B seven are the next points of attention. Not to mention we can ride that down. See if it goes to a B9. Oh, these are the planets we were learning about on those propaganda posters. Buyen, Rotfront, Vignetta, Kitson, Heimat, Lang. Okay, okay, okay. I see. Uh, well then. Is that a ring on high mat, or is that simply... Uh, an indicator that that's where we are. Hi Matt, home of the New Nations government. I heard the view of the gas giant's rings in the sky is beautiful there. An orrery showing a rotating view of the current relative positions of the inhabited worlds of the solar system. Can I catch Lang? Sierpinski is here. Kitsa. Kitsa. The Red Desert. The Imperial Fleet can only hold it for so long before it'll be liberated. Veneta, the ocean world ravaged by war. When I close my eyes, I can hear the sound of the sea. Rotfront, the ice moon circling the largest gas giant. Ah! We were on that ice... Uh, environment when we started still in the process of climaforming yes okay so that's uh terraforming or climate forming and nothing to say about Bullion, home to the imperial palace floating above poisonous clouds and the sun no gotcha Good to know. Right, so we landed on a planet mid climaform. Uh, rot front. And likely our jobs are to. Yeah. Land, terraform, and create a stable environment for the Empire to then ship the real people over. Uh, how's this door? Needs library key. Blue, blue, red. Give it a minute. Just give it a minute. Yeah. I guess we don't have a minute.
Yeah, we're not sneaking by that. Once I go in that hallway, I'm going to be cornered anyway. So. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Not you. 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 It's falling apart. Too many bullets. Way too many bullets. Ugh. Hummingbird key. Fuck. Yeah, right. All right, I think I... Hmm... Might, uh, I'm kind of looking at it in a either like fight or flight as an extreme option for most of these encounters, and maybe a mixture of fighting and flighting is not the worst. But I just kind of, I'm like, if I'm going to commit a bullet to something, I feel like I might as well put it down so I can at least run past it in the future. Big Red. You're going that way. Okay. Oh. You are going to give me a chance. Okay. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah, last time I was trying to remember what, uh... <gasps> that darkness is treacherous as fuck. Okay. That's a creepy bear. Bird? Raven? I was trying to remember what, uh, I thought the, the aesthetics reminded me of, and, uh, yeah. It's absolutely Blame and Battle Angel Alita. Right? Got him with the, especially with the characters with the, um with uh, the band-aid under the eye is a very Battle Angel Alita look and like yeah a lot of a lot of blame style uh, aesthetics as well with the and you know of course the little gant suits too to some degree but yes thank you great <laughs> oh video game and of course, you're going to take up my slot. Shoulder mounted flashlight module powered by internal replica power supply when installed. And we're not going to get to rock you without losing a slot. Makes the user more visible to enemies when turned on, but allows you to see and interact with objects in dark rooms and doorways. Yes. So any floors that have this are going to need it. Therefore, we're going to lose that. Lose that slot. Ah, fuck you. You son of a bitch. Alright, let's do it. Oh yeah? You didn't take the opportunity to make that a jump scare? I was fully expecting a white woman jump scare. Adler? Uh-huh. Eagle? He's got the big defenses. An integral part of every protector. Command commando. Is the administrator unit. A single Adler unit can manage and oversee all administrative tasks for the entire facility. Freeing other operational command units to focus on the direct control of the protector units. The Adler is designed to work as a direct counterpart to the Falk unit. Serving as her adjutant by taking care of necessary paperwork. And calculations. Yeah. So our Adler, our our friendly neighborhood uh, elevator pusher, is probably rocking full memories of a pretty assholeish person. And that's likely creating the behavior we were dealing with. Eagle key required. Owl key. And... Mockingbird. Or was it Hummingbird? One of the two. Wunderwaffen. Unsere Nation. 
wonder. Super weapons. Ah. Super weapons of our nation. And the battle against the Empire. Falk units. Yeah. Uh, so often just means weapons, huh? Okay. Because <laughs> every time I see that coming out in the form of uh, Karen Waffen and so on, it's just uh, pretty scary. Not, not, not a good suffix. Mineshaft access elevator. I need the administrator's key to call it. Sounds like a major objective. What is the point of these little hidden corners? Is there anything hidden in them? Do they hide me from the enemy? I don't know. Does my flashlight attract attention? The answer to these questions and more. <laughs> uh, coming soon. The flashlight must... must attract that attention. Yeah. Yep, there we go. Makes the user more visible to enemies, right. I don't know why I fucking... My brain deleted that for a second. Uh, okay, medium amount. One more hit. Should make that worth it. We're full up on items, though, so that's not great. We gotta get back to a box. Can you fuckers just... Thank you, please. Cheers. Okay, so... Dark rooms are now accessible. And... We got a gray door down there. Still worth checking. East hallway. Bird key. Dark room. Okay. Um, you know, while I'm here, why not try to... Yes. Hey, we got it. It's red. Perfect. And you? Dead, dead? Okay. What was it again? Hummingbird. So, let's see. And two. With a shield. Uh, three. Oh, no. Uh, 
Oh boy. Oh boy. I it's not it's not the shit. I was going to try to stab them or taser them. But if I have the lights off, I can't attack. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. Well, shit. Two shots. That ain't gonna cut it. Uh, let's see if you'll work. I hope you do. <gasps> we live! Oh my god, I can't believe that worked. Okay, thank god. It's a weapon. The gun works in the dark. Why wouldn't the taser? Fair enough. The stomp doesn't work. But we still can do that. Good. Good, 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 good. We live. Ooh. All right. All that for a couple of fucking shells. Oh, uh, yeah. Time to... Time to do a loop. <laughs> time to do a nice little loop. Back to... Back to safety. Um, alright. Well, that's one dark room cleared on floor eight. Uh, the star map is... Oh, there's something to do on it, huh? I didn't interpret that as anything besides just information. Um... Maybe it's just, uh, an informant. Alright, maybe it'll come in handy later. Floor... five? Floor five. Nope, thank you. Cheers. That's okay. Six six. <sighs> oh god damn it! You don't go any higher. Uh, I have to go back to the flood overflow. God, that's the end of the. Uh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right, all right. How many dark rooms are on this floor? One over there. Okay. Um, and that was probably the owl door, if I recall. So, let's have a workshop key. All right. No problem. Just a quick sprint. Everyone's having a good time. Good time. And you stay looking over at those bodies. Stay sad. Keep that shield out of my fucking life. Y'all stay chillin'. Oh, the repair bay. You know what? We can do that. We're here. Let's just do that. Now, if this was a fucking... Yeah, this was a trap. But... It did have a door. Come on! Fuck off, out of bullets. Uh, 
All right, we're not ready. We're not ready. And we got two zaps. No, we're not ready. Back to the save room. Got to prep. Even if I did go into that door, what am I going to do? I don't have any room to hold anything. Yeah, that was a stupid decision. Fuck. Just because you're walking by and it's a convenient thing to do doesn't mean it's the right thing to do if you're not in a state to handle it. Okay, so... Shutter gate. I'll pull you out when it's time to open that. Shotgun rounds. Time to, to use you guys. Flashlights coming in handy, still coming in handy as well for tight spaces. Pull out the shotgun. Reload. Put the shells away. Healing. Um, yeah. I don't know what enemies I'm going to want to use this on that I wouldn't rather just risk sprinting past them. We'll hold it for now. This, this can easily become a, a mind goblet item. Because I'm just like, there's, you know, like, whatever the challenge will be, I juking it will always be better than wasting one of those, so. Um, okay. Yeah, gonna have to hold it. Uh, cool it on the pistol for a little bit. Um, you know what? I might end up using this on this run. Let me take a look. What floor are we talking about? Is it seven? Seven, huh? Uh, no. Let's do... Six, dark room. Um... And then seven has a dark room plus the shutter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, all right, let's carry it. We're losing space to that, though. Equip your gun. Alright, we need a we need a mnemonic. We need a mnemonic. <laughs> like this is um Alright. <laughs> uh box Uh We need Yeah, I don't know. Like close box, equip gun. Box, equip gun. Beg. Beg. Beg system. B E G. Box, equip gun. Always do that. Always do that. Wooly versus the algorithm.